You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'll be better when I find who did this. Which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Big B. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. That's very helpful. Thank you. Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I just said that. Is there something... going on you should be thanking me it's just a memory wipe spell very expensive but it works the whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands well hurry up found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. There's two of them, Dee and Dunn, and they've been snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't mean they're necessarily involved in the murders. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. Now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, it's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused.
Did she, um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She just told me to be careful. She was always fond of you, Bigby. Yeah. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to... Had to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on, just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you, in theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? Shh, do you think this is a joke? Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. Why were you at Toad's place? Looking for a change of scenery. Thought I might move in. Had to take a look around first, of course. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. If you don't tell me who did this, I'll make sure you end up the same way. Dead on your doorstep. Got it? I told you, I didn't kill her, and I don't know who did. Just tell me what you were doing at Toad's place. Look, Big B. We're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. Your brother? Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No! I'm not sending you after my brother! Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Come on, Big B. We both know this isn't going anywhere. You always carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? I'm declaring a tax on uncooperative troublemakers. You taking out a loan? You might not like the interest on that. You'll need to account for that. You can't just... There are procedures to be followed. We'll talk about it later. So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now. But he didn't kill anybody. You mentioned Faith? Look, I went to her apartment, 
That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D. What did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. I'm saving that. This is really... What's the point of this? Fuck! Stop, you fucker! <gasps> so, this is how it's gonna be. What are you doing? Getting answers. I told you to keep yourself under control. Uh, let me handle this. What did you want from Faith? I didn't want shit from that little thief. More trouble than she's worth. I could say the same about you. Oh yeah? Untie me and see how much trouble I am. What did she steal? Must have been valuable. I don't know. It was just some dumb thing my boss was after. What did you say? Your boss. So let's talk about your boss then. Come on, D. It's clear you're just following orders. So who's calling the shots? No! I'm fucking done! You just carry this around? It ain't illegal, is it? What the fuck?! Big B, you shit! Last chance, D. Who are you working for? Fuck you! You're a piece of shit, Bigby! Beauty was wrong about you! You're just a sick- Beauty? You're full of shit. Oh, we're good friends! That's enough! I will not tolerate this savagery! You think someone was trying to kill Snow? Isn't it more likely someone was trying to get back at you by killing her? <coughs> Fuck you! What's going on down here? What's going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I hope it was worth your time. Okay, you, you're gonna have to explain this, because I'm really not getting it yet. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy, but hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. That's not your job, Snow. Someone had to take care of it. Snow? What is it? I'm glad you're... Uh, not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? 
I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. If someone wants you dead, at some point they'll realize they missed their target. And they'll come looking for me. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? We just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not what I meant. Well then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once I'm and... not yours to lose. I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... you know... Myself. Right. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Oh, that's enough. Mira, finish! Cancel! What the hell are you doing? Don't even get started with me, Sheriff! What's going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to give Tweedledee a good smack after what he put me through. But what you did to him was way over the bloody line. You scared the shit out of me, little boy. He saw everything! Okay, Mr. Toad. No! I want an explanation. I'm just doing my job, Toad. Your job is to protect us. That's not what you've been doing. That's enough! Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son, but right now we need to carry on with the investigation. I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. We need to talk to TJ. This ain't over, Big B. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Watch yourself, Big B. Will you do anything to hurt me, boy? It's okay. Just start from the beginning. Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad, I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> it's okay, son. Take your time. The lady... fell in... 
But, but she didn't have her head on. I thought, I thought she was gonna pull me down too. <laughs> cause, cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? Do you know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, it's my special power. I always know when people aren't telling me the truth. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it! I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you! Leave him alone, Toad. He's my son. I've set boundaries for a reason. This is a special circumstance. Leave him alone. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Were those the same words they used? Stop laughing? Try to remember exactly what they said. <laughs> they said... They said, stop laughing at me. <laughs> Do you know whose voice it was? No. <laughs> Sheriff. Did you see who it was? No. Bigby, he's frightened. Did you hear anyone laughing? I don't know! I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise! I want to go home. Okay. You can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. <laughs> you did a good job, kid. Come on, then. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? Yeah. Come on. Oh, my goodness! I almost forgot. <laughs> 